Alright, the plans for today are to change a head gasket on my Commodore that seems to be leaking water in the oil. And this is the culprit. It's just a standard six cylinder. And I'll uh, hopefully be able to show you the steps of pulling it to bits. So first things first, drop the coolant. Pretty simple. Drop that radiator hose. And drop the bottom one down here. And that'll be about it. It's pretty simple. Just set a mouldy grips onto the clamp. Slip her out the road. Shitloads better than fucking around with a screwdriver. Oh yeah, and disconnect the battery. It's always a good idea. As you can see, it's in there well. So after you've dropped the coolant, just pull your air box apart. Take off the air intake, so they reckon. Probably not doing this in the right order, but you get that on the big jobs. It's just a matter of pulling everything off the motor. Take your fucking accelerator cable and cruise control off but yeah long process better help I suppose <laughs> got to take the fan belt off 15 mil socket just onto your fucking belt tensioner give her a good push down flip the belt off Release it and your belt's off. Next, take the coil pack off. 13 mil bolt holding them on. There's three or two, well, two holding the coil pack on and one holding the bearing underneath of it. And all that'll probably have to come off. And pull the spark plug leads out. So yeah, three bolts for the alternator. One there, one down under here, and then your support bracket at the back. That just needs to come off. And the front two bolts a 13 mil for the two there and 10 mil for your support bracket. Alternator's a bit hard to get off sometimes so just whack your socket, your ratchet or whatever you want to call it in there and just give her a good little tap across and she'll pop off like so. And while I remember about it, don't forget to undo the wires on the back little nut there's a 13 mil and you've just got a clip on the little black box that needs to come off and there you go the alternator's out the road so now I'll go to work on this little clip here and try to remember how that comes apart to undo this I just found, put the screwdriver in the little slit at the bottom, give her a twist and she pops open. Uh, next step we're going to do is follow the wiring and just undo any clips that you might have. Like the injector wires have to come off, the coil packs all free but because of all the wiring that's still attached. 
but she's not going nowhere. Wires run everywhere. Pulling for your fuel injection clips, just get a screwdriver. Or don't do that. Lose the clippy part. <laughs> It'll turn up. A hand anyway, yeah. Right? Might be easier. <laughs> so yeah, we're just chasing a wire at the moment. This wire here, it's held on by a half inch or 13 mil bolt. Well that's all leading to the coil pack and your injectors and still the same wire. And there's two little clips on your throttle body. They can come off. And the wire runs back around behind the motor there. But we'll get to that after. Right. The wire where we're chasing, which is that one there, goes down to the air conditioner. Down in there is that little clip. Just undo that. Which is pretty simple. It's just got the little safety latch thing on it on the side. Working on taking the inlet manifold off now. So you get your pair of pliers in there on that clip. Up here, dickhead. And just pop that off. And then there's two more vacuum hoses here. Just give them a tug off. Not that hard. Says the bloke that can't get it off. Alright, uh, got this hose here to be blatantly honest. I don't have a clue what it does, but it's got to come off. So down here, there's a little 10 mil bolt. Just undo that, and by the looks it should just pop out. Well, I'm gonna let the fuel lines beat me and see if we can get away without taking them off. It's just too much of a head fuck. So now we'll undo the inlet manifold with all the little bolts all these little suckers around the joint there's one there a couple in there by the looks there's a cunt of a one in there and same on this side got a couple of allen key bolts but yeah we'll pull that off and see what other dramas we come across all these little bolts around here are about 10 mil. Hi. They're about a 10. So, yeah, uh, I'll do that and see what happens. Right, through the process of taking off the inlet manifold, I've realized that you've got to remove your acceleration fucking bracket thingy just to get into the bolts a bit easier. Fucking won't be much left to the motor by the time we're finished. It's just two 10 mil bolts holding that on. Right, while we've been ripping the inlet manifold off, notice that the bracket, like that your tensioner pulleys on, is actually connected to the heads and runs into the inlet manifold there. So you gotta pull this little fucking do flacky thing here out, which whatever it is, looks like it's watery something. And that was held on by two eleven sixteenth, I think. Yeah, two eleven sixteenth bolts and a five eight in here. But yeah, coolant's coming out of that, so obviously it's something to do water-wise. But there's still a stud in there. It's just come into screen. And another stud here that I have to undo. Looks a bit different without the belt tensioner. All because Commodore in their wise mind decided to run a pipe through the middle of the belt tensioner. Fucking idiots. 
So there's a couple of bolts holding that on down here. No, the ones I was talking about before, but all because of this pipe here, which is that one that runs through the belt tensioner. Now I've got to nick off and find a Allen key that'll fit down that hole there, and hopefully the inlet will come off. Nothing but head fucks. Done the trip into Gladstone to get some Allen keys and some more supplies like a six pack of rum, the Allen keys are there, and it turns out that I didn't actually need them. We've now finished taking all the bolts out and the inlet manifold should just lift off like so. And that's stage one. Now to work on the heads. Well, inlet manifolds off, just sitting to the side because I couldn't get the fuel lines disconnected from back there. And that's the first thing you see when you take the head gasket off. As you can see, I've got a bit of coolant here, a near blocked water inlet there. She's looking good. Okay, so first thing to do when you come into your heads is drop your exhaust off. Just a couple of bolts on your exhaust manifold. And now the coil packs out the road, it's a bit easier to get into it. Other side's a bit more. But, yeah. So yeah, 13mm bolts. Holding your exhaust manifold on. So taking the exhaust manifold off, I've realised I now have to take this here off. Don't ask me what it does because I wouldn't have a clue. It's held on with two 13mm bolts into the head. And there's an earth wire I think down here also connected to the head. That has to come off as well. Right, now my exhaust manifold's off. That little do flacky whatever it is, is off. Now nah, I'm just gonna pull this head off for now. Right. And then it's, oh, <laughs> a little bit of carnage happening behind the fucking video. But just undo these, pull the rocker cover off, and I'll see what my next step is from there. Uh, I'll rip me rocker cover off, and this seems to be the troubled side. After looking under the ma inlet manifold, I sort of realised, but don't know how well it's coming up on the camera. But they're covered in an oil and water mix, which isn't very nice. But next is the head bolts, hidden down in there. I don't think I'll be able to find it. No, what about that one? There. Hidden down in there is a set of head bolts. And out here is another set. So yes, pull them off and have a look at the damage. Well, we've just undone all the bolts. And if you've got an auto, the auto trans filler upper thingy is actually connected to the head by the looks. So there's another 13mm bolt that you got to undo. It's nearly sunset and I'm getting there. <laughs> well, going to call it today a day to already. Blooming one head's off. Got water coming out of... A head bolt, well coolant, but don't know if that's normal. Soon find out though. But, yeah, heads off. Bit of coolant in two pots there. But can't actually see anything wrong with the head gasket. It's a bit dirty and clagged up and shit. 
Didn't think these holes were meant to be there, but they are. But we'll see what the other side brings us.